This tutorial assumes that you already have Spambase installed and see the Spambase toolbar in Microsoft Outlook. To start, we're going to take a behind the scenes look at how Spambase works. I'm going to click here on the Spambase toolbar and go down to Spambase Manager. And in Spambase Manager, I'm going to click Filter. Every time you receive an email, Spambase intercepts it first. It examines the content of it, the text, the email address, and so on, and assigns it a score. The higher the score number, the more likely this is spam mail that you're not interested in at all. For example, if it scores 90 or more, it's automatically going to put it in a folder called junk mail. If it scores somewhere between 15 and 89, it's not sure whether it's spam or not, so it's going to put it in a folder called junk suspect. At no time does Spambase delete anything. It simply either puts it in the junk email folder, if the score is 90 or more, puts it in the junk suspect folder, if it's between 15 and 89, and if it's lower than 15, it leaves it alone in your inbox. When you first installed Spambase, it created two new folders, one called junk suspects and one called junk email. The junk suspects are emails that it's not sure of that's been given a rating of 15 to 89. You need to look at the junk suspects and decide whether it's really junk email or is it good email. So I'm going to click here. And these are all the ones that Spambase is simply not sure of. So what I like to do is I like to click here on the from part and sort everything alphabetically. And I just scan it for any names that uh, pop up at me as somebody I know. I might even click the subject to have a look at the subjects. Notice all these e-card greetings? Those are definitely spam. And as I'm examining through this, I notice that there's one here from Canon Copier, and that's my sales rep. So that's not really junk mail. So now I'm going to train spam bays not to put email of this type in junk suspects. And you simply click on it and notice you have two buttons at the top, recover from spam, delete from spam. I'm going to click recover from spam and what happens is that email is now learned a little bit more about what your email is like and it has moved it back into your inbox. Now what about all the email that's remaining? Well it's definitely junk email. So the easiest way to get rid of all of it is simply click on any one piece using your keyboard hold down the control key and press A to select all of it. We're now going to decide whether this is recoverable mean it should be in the inbox or no this is spam. So we click delete as spam. It removes it and notice that the junk email number has risen by that same amount. Junk suspect mailbox is something you should check often through the day. Junk email, remember, is a scale of at least 90 or higher. You should also check this mailbox, but not on a frequent basis. So I'm going to click it, and I scroll down and have a look, just one last look, and chances are you're going to find some nasty stuff in here. And there's nothing here that, uh, that I want to keep, nothing that's good email. So again, I'm going to click on any email, Control A selects everything, and I'm going to delete it. Simply press the delete key on your keyboard, and the email is gone. There's nothing in this folder. Where's the email now? Well, it's now up here in my deleted items. And if you're extremely paranoid, you can click deleted items and check them one last time if you want. Otherwise, just right click this folder and choose empty deleted items. It's going to warn you, do you want to permanently delete these? The answer is yes. It takes a moment to remove these files from the server. So, 
just to recap, on a regular basis, perhaps a couple times a day, you should be checking your junk suspects uh, folder and deciding whether it uh, should be recovered from spam and put back in your inbox as good mail or deleted from spam. You should then check uh, perhaps once a day or once every couple of days your junk email to ensure that no good email ended up here in which case you could still recover it from spam. If this is all junk then select it all with control A, press the delete key, it disappears, it then moves up into your deleted uh, items folder and this one you want to keep low if you let a lot of things pile up there it just slows down our network. So that's how to use Spambase.